and it's official. The Redmi 10X series officially announced by Redmi just after the launch of the MediaTek 820, which will be going into these phones. They have been rumored and we got some leaks over the past few days, but now we get some official information, both from Redmi and of course the official launch of the MediaTek 820 chipset. So yes, the Redmi 10X series will be a budget series or budget mid-range and this 820 chipset though is actually really powerful and really gets a better score than the Snapdragon 765G which is Snapdragon's best mid-range chipset. The MediaTek 820 chipset is manufactured on a 7 nanometer node which is actually the same as the 765G and the Snapdragon 865. The chipset itself has four ARM Cortex A76 performance cores. They're clocked at 2.6 gigahertz. It also has four ARM Cortex A55 efficiency cores clocked at 2 GHz. It's running a Mali G57 GPU. MediaTek call their ISP or their image signal processor the Image IQ 5.0. It's capable of 4K recording with HDR, 4K at 60 frames a second. It can support LPDDR4X RAM up to 16 GB. It can also support displays up to 120 Hz refresh rates and can also support full HD plus resolutions. So phones that are using this chip can be assumed to have a lot of those features like 4K video recording up to 60 frames a second, high refresh rate screens. And well, we do get confirmation of the Redmi 10X series, which will be the first to use this chipset. The 26th of May at 2 p.m. Hong Kong time, that is when these uh, phones will officially launch. We can see the designs of them though, actually a lot like the Redmi Note 9 series, but the 10X series is a different series of phones. Redmi have said themselves that you have the Note 9 series, you also have the Redmi 10X series that they're launching, and this is different from the numbered series or like the Redmi 9, Redmi 8 series, and maybe the Redmi 10 series. The X series is different, it's a different series of phones, and there, there's a concentration on performance in these phones. The MediaTek 820 was benchmarked inside a Redmi 10X device and on and 22 anyway, it got a score of 415,000, which again is a very good score for a chipset like this. It beats out the 765G from Snapdragon. So this chipset does get a better score on Antutu, but it's only one test. There are lots of other things that a chipset has to do. Image processing is usually better on Snapdragon chipsets compared to MediaTek chipsets. There is obviously a focus on the screen from Redmi with these official marketing images, so we can assume OLED definitely. And we can see four cameras on one of the phones at least, so I would expect a main, an ultra wide, and probably a depth and a macro sensor making up the other two. Also in the news today, a new phone from Vivo called the X50 is very close to the launch and we got some more details about the camera. This phone will be coming with an Exynos 980 chipset and will be using a Samsung GW1 image sensor under the main camera lens. It will feature a 5x periscope zoom camera and 10 times hybrid zoom in this one and will be using Vivo's gimbal stabilization. This is something that they introduced on the Vivo Apex 2020, a new type of image stabilization that they call gimbal stabilization that will be coming on this phone. So interesting to see how that one turns out. There were also some leaks today regarding the Pixel 4a XL. So we've heard all about the Pixel 4a, the price, uh, the reviews, it's been reviewed basically by now, we know all about that phone, but we never heard anything about the 4A XL, we assumed it wasn't coming. A leak today though online suggests that the Pixel 4A XL actually could be coming, it's in production and will launch alongside the 4A. We don't really know too much more at this stage about the XL and these are very early leaks, so could be happening, might not be happening, but definitely something to watch out for. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.